it's been very good. Um, you know, I obviously got Becky to thank. You know, first and foremost, uh, you know, for getting me over here. But um, you know, as soon as I knew I was going to come over here, um, I sort of had the objective of you know trying to end up in the top three run scorers. Um, you know, when I got here, um, I managed to do that, and having missed out in two games, um, I think I've obviously made a big, big enough contribution, and that was always going to be my uh, objective. Um, you know, the setup's been good here. The hospitality has been fantastic. Um, you know, the the crowd support's been unbelievable. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think they've got a worthy coach in Lachlan Stevens. You know, as a replacement for Mickey, which says well for for WA cricket and. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's some good signs to come. <laughs> there's no reason why I shouldn't want to come back. Um, I'm actually sad that it's it's actually you know finished. Um, you know, but hopefully it's just temporary. And um, well, there's no doubt that I'd, I'd love to come back. I'm sorry that it's ended actually. Well, I'm not going to be signing any contracts uh, after the season with with the Cobras. Um, I'd like to think that I'd like to be just a you know freelancer if I can be. Um, you know, whether or not I'm going to play for South Africa again is, is not an issue for me anymore. You know, I've, I think I've had a wonderful 15 years with the Proteus. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, you know, I can you know, still be happy with the 15 years that I've had. And if it means that I'm going to just play 2020 from here on in, you know, I still like to think that I'd like to play for another three or four years, um, uh, knowing, you know, the well that. I can make a, a contribution in whatever team that I, you know, I choose to undertake, and um, hopefully I can do that for another three or four years. I mean, the body seems good enough. I'm still hungry. I'm enjoying it probably now more than ever. And when I have that, that sort of carefree attitude of, of going out there and, you know, playing uh, with a bit of freedom, you know, I think the the results will show. And hopefully, uh, you know, this is a start of a, a refreshing, you know, three years to come. Okay. I actually find it very. Um, very competitive. Um, it's probably, I think, with the conditions as it is, there's there's more of a contest between bat and ball. So even contest, you know, um, a lot of the time, you know, the, the bowlers sort of take a pounding. But you know, with the pace and bounce and these these sort of wickets here, there's a bit more even contest um, between bat and ball, which ultimately, you know, is, is good for the format of the game. And it's probably been uh, my most competitive tournament that I've played in, you know, and I think obviously the results were shown, um, you know, around the country. The, you know, the the um, the, uh, the games of haven't been too many one-sided games, which which is good. So, crowd support's been fantastic. You know, they've been well attended. So, I think they're on. You know, they got a recipe for a really good and successful tournament to come. Yeah, I don't know. It's you know, I didn't really mean to actually hit it. That it was more just I wanted to just to guide it down, but. Um, you know, you, that sort of thing happens when you're in some sort of nick, you know, you tend to just hit it a bit more sweeter than you'd like and, you know, um, I think Bobby Binger followed me a little bit, I think, uh, watching the replay, so, uh, you know, I think a little bit of credit must go to him, you know, um, but uh, I wouldn't have expected first ball, but one of those things, you know, it's unfortunate that I got out in the final, you know, not having made a hundred and um, that was obviously, uh, you know, it, it was sort of leading towards that and, it uh, would have been nice to get one in, in the final, but uh, unlikely. You know, he's, he's got all the ingredients to become a really good all-rounder. Um, you know, he's still very young and he's still got to learn his trade. I think once he gets, you know, a bit of experience as in, as an international cricketer, you know, you'll start seeing exactly how how far he can go. You know, and um, but like I said, he's a big, strong boy. Um, I think he, he's still a little bit um, with regards to his injury, so he's not probably bowling as as quickly as you would like. Um, but uh, I just told him that you know if he can work on his rotation in, in his initial part of his innings, he'll become a lot you know he could uh, adapt a lot quicker uh, and improve his all-round ability you know. But because um, if you bat you know high up the order, um, it's it's just the initial part of your innings that you need to work on and to get through. And if he can do that, I mean he shows you know he can punish any sort of bowl at the back end of the innings. So. Um, but uh, like I said, he's, he's got all the ingredients to become a really fine player. Just how high is his potential, do you think? Um, I think it's a little bit too early to say. Um, you, like I said, you, you know, you, once you get a little bit of experience, you may be 30 or 40 ODIs or even 20, 20 games, you know, you could then sort of benchmark as to how far you can really go. And um, at the moment he's in, I mean, the sort of format he's in at the moment, It'll be good to see um, how he goes and you know in, in the, against the Indians. You, you know, it'll be good to play for the Scorchers. I've, like I said, I've really enjoyed my time here. Um, 
they've got a wonderful coach, great captain, and a wonderful, um, you know, a wonderful jail team. You know, and at the start of the tournament, nobody gave us a chance of getting anywhere, and the boys, you know, um, stepped up to the party. And you know, I think the team etiquette uh, has been one of the best that I've played in. Um, so. You know, the guys can, you know, can feel very proud of themselves and, you know, I think the locals also got a lot to thank for that you know, with regard to the support. So um, it would be good to see, see the boys in the Champions League for sure.